Get it as soon as you can. I'll see what I can do to retrieve the Operation Euphoria file. Anything else? Yeah. My contact got me a pass key. I guess you'll need it to get to the file. I'll send it over by Express Courier. All right. I'll let you know when I'm ready to make the swap. Uh, I got a anagram tool a few years ago for the Fool's event, and it worked pretty well. Yes, it didn't take days to figure stuff out. <sighs> um, end conversation. Well, now that I got Purnell's key, uh, at least getting into the locker at the NSA should be easy. That was fast. What? 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 Hello. Hello! I'm glad I caught you at home. Huh. Uh, make conversation. Well, it's a good thing you didn't drop <clears throat> by in person, because my housekeeper's on the rampage again. I drop by and just mess up your apartment anyway. <laughs> So what'd you find out? Well, not much. About the only thing I could figure out was toward the end of the notebook. There were quite a few references to O-E, E-W, and A-E, but I'm not sure what they stand for. Well, the E and the W could be directions or compass points, and the O-E stands for Old English, but that doesn't seem very relevant. Whatever they mean, I get the feeling they're leading to something really big. Everyone and their dogs want to get their hands on your father's work. As soon as we find out what these initials stand for, we'll be halfway to a fortune. I don't know. Maybe your father was keeping this under wraps for good reason. When we find out what this is all about, we may decide that whatever he learned shouldn't be let out into circulation. What are you talking about? That's why we're in this. For the money. Look, Ooh. your father wanted to keep this work away from the NSA, and I think that's an omen. We won't sell it to them. We'll only sell the information to the right people. What if it's Why not that people? simple? What if it's something that would be better locked up forever? That's not an option. It was my father's work, so by rights it's mine now. You can have a piece of the action, or I can do it alone. Now I think you should give me back that box I gave you. Ooh. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you don't have the right to keep it from me, it's mine. Shut up! That's not the point. You're right, Tex. I'm being foolish and irresponsible. If there's nothing terrible about what we find, we'll make a lot of money and live happily ever after. Let's keep our fingers crossed, but for now I just want you to sit tight. I have a feeling things are going to get a little sticky from now on. Those initials you found may refer to other people who received boxes from your father. I'll see what I can turn up. Give me a call if anything else occurs to you. All right, Tex. I'll be here. Please be careful. Okay. Oh, we... I guess... Yeah. Yes, I can understand Tex. I don't understand her. If, for example, these boxes contain the receipt for sugar, uh, cinnamon crunch toast, okay, fine, you can sell this, or the Colonel's secret recipe for the spices and herbs, okay, it's fine. But if the boxes contain, like, hmm, how to build a small nuclear missile out of everyday stuff, then you shouldn't sell this. <laughs> it's usually a bad idea. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, how do we have a spare moment? Uh, combine Wagon's puzzle box with Malloy's tapestry. For whatever reason. Uh, oh no, oh fuck slider puzzles. Oh, oh I hate them. Yes, I will do this till the end of this video, and if it doesn't work out until then, then I will just do it off screen. I'm really bad at these things. I'm really bad. Like, really bad.
Okay, that looks white. <coughs> now these four. Nice. This is more dumb luck than skill. <laughs> like I said, I'm really bad at these things. But this may actually work out. Ah! Looks like a module of some sort and some small metal pegs. Okay. Puzzle book? Book. Visitors pass. Hex. The noise device piece part two. Mm hmm. Okay, I have no idea. Uh, travel to the police station. Uh, I'm honestly, this is. Uh, I would never figure this stuff out. I would. What can I do for you, Murphy? I have the feeling if you play this game yourself, without a walkthrough. You're just constantly trying everything. Everything. Like, everything and stuff. Uh, I can't tell you about Dag Horton. Look, Mac, I need your help. I know Dag Horton was an NSA agent, but I gotta find out why he was posing as the Black Arrow Killer. Now, this could be a matter of life and death. For me. <laughs> Come on, Murphy. You know they don't tell me anything. Especially not when the NSA is involved. I'm the wrong guy to ask. Man, you gotta be able to figure out something to tell me. Well, I do know one thing. I know where they took the body. It's down at the county forensics lab. Listen, I know the guy that runs the place. Maybe I can get you in and you can have a little time to take a look around. That's it. That's all I can do for you. Well, maybe that'll be enough. Maybe. Maybe there's a world where we don't have to run. <coughs> Sorry. For the second time in a week, Mac comes through for me. Now that's a new record for him. When I get to the morgue, the door's unlocked and the coroner has conveniently gone out for a long lunch. Ooh. Let's steal his stuff. Let's take the scalpel. Uh... Use it to open the door labeled G. Uh, let's get it up. I'll bet Mr. Horton has something useful in his wallet. I'm sure. There's nothing else. Anything else in here? No. Examine. This looks identical to the key I found in Horton's office. Ooh. Uh, inventory in Horton's wallet. Ah. Security system card. Building control, 300 West Street, San Francisco. Name Deck Horton. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Let's save. Save. Comment. Okay, let's travel back to Autotech. Horton's office. Nice! I can. Travel. Returning to Autotech after almost getting my head blown off the last time makes me a little nervous. There are no speeders parked outside, and a cautious look around leads me to believe the place is empty. At least for now. I better work fast. Use Horton's key at the top left file cabinet. Okay. What do we have here? A manila envelope. Ooh. And it's a key. B17. Papers. The BAK memorandum. Okay. Target A. White. Interrogated and eliminated. Target B. Alice. 
under surveillance, but not an immediate priority. Target C, Collins. It is imperative to begin surveillance on Target C immediately. The doctor has, con has gone underground and all attempts to locate him failed. Target C, as we discussed, worked with the doctor and is the last person known to have contact with him. In addition, I have acquired information on Target D, Emily Patterson. Target D is living at the Fuxia Flamingo nightclub, 165 Chandler Avenue. I have reason to believe that the doctor may attempt to contact or relay information to Target D, so secondary surveillance is required. As we outlined previously, any contact with the Target C and D must follow the BAKMO. This is imperative! Once either target receives a communication from the doctor, the target should be eliminated. Oh, she was never in danger. <laughs> also, I must stress again the top security nature of this assignment. Details should not be discussed with anyone, including upper, also operatives. Jackson Cross. Paper with numbers. For your information, 1091. Okay. Go to the evidence room. I wonder if the guard is still locked up in the mob room. No. Oh, be funny. Uh, evidence room. Security room. Evidence room. Looks like it's locked. Oh, if the security is Well, locked. that won't work. What? Oh, and it's Aki. I wonder if Jackson Cross stashed the box he took from me and put it in here. I can't think of a better place to start looking. Hmm. Uh, look. Looks like I'll need to find a special card and passcode before I can open that door. Ah, okay. Security system card to use on this. Um, seven seven three three four eight. Security code accepted. Why do you put the code on the card you use to open? Okay, what the hell? Huh. What was it? B17? 15... Success. Hello, Box. We meet again. Hello, Box. Get it. Thank you. Uh, open locker B15. What? Oh, okay. Ooh, cash. Huh. Ooh, that's quite a lot. Um, open locker E15. B A C D E. I have no idea why I'm doing this, but if the walkthrough tells me to, E13. Oops. An NSA high security clearance badge. Well, it's good that they are stored in unlocked lockers. Makes sense. Then use Pernell's key to open locker E36. E36. Pernell's key there. Ooh, and also CD. Wait. Ah, okay, we see NSA logo. I thought it was something like a whole band in it. Um get the operation for you. press the open button on the degaussing machine. What the hell? 